We have another new ransomware in town, isn't that great? This one's called Red Eye. I first saw it a couple of days ago, and it's still only detected by like 31 out of 67 engines on Vars total, so it's fairly new. Now what's unusual about this is this has a file size of 35 megabytes, which is really excessive for ransomware. Kind of indicates that this is probably more for show than for actual use in financial operations. As I understand, this threat is more a wiper than a ransomware. It doesn't actually encrypt your files properly, allowing you to recover the data. It just deletes your files and replaces them with empty garbage, essentially. But let's run it and see what happens on our system. Does need administrator privileges. So we get a message about user account control and then the computer just restarts. Okay, so now it has replaced our desktop with what looks like a distorted version of Mona Lisa, which is interesting. We still don't have the ransom message, which should pop up any moment now. I think it does create a startup item. And there you go. It maximizes your volume for some reason although i can't hear anything maybe there's some sound effects it's not working correctly but there you go this is the ransom message and it says your pc will be destroyed in three days 16 hours if you do not pay it does have an id and a bitcoin address but i don't think the files can actually be recovered so it's much worse than uh, it actually looks gives you a list of files that it has encrypted basically means replaced with empty files with the red eye extension well one good thing about this ransomware is that it doesn't seem to attack network drives so the shared folder seems just fine none of the files were affected funnily enough it actually has a button that says destroy pc as if that's an option that people would like to pick but let's see what happens when you do that you get this nice pop-up window saying suicide isn't a solution but then there's do it, just do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Nice inspiring message there. And now our PC should be irrevertibly destroyed. Blue screen of death, reboot, and now it says red eye terminated your computer. The reason could be the time expired or you clicked on the destroy PC button. That's a nice button to have. Isn't it? Like, everyone should have that. Like, destroy PC. There is no way to fix your PC. Have fun to try it. So, clearly, again, ransomware authors are not very good with English. And it links to a certain YouTube channel, iCoreX. I believe this is the same person who created the Annabelle ransomware. Now, as I've come to understand, partly through the messages I get on Discord, partly through online forums and uh, a lot of these threats coming out, it seems creating ransomware has become a bit of a sport for some spoiled children. Now I'm going to say this, I do not endorse this kind of activity, it is just lame, it is pathetic, and you should understand that if something like this ends up damaging somebody's system with valuable data on it or causes any other harm intended or otherwise, you can be prosecuted. So creating ransomware for fun isn't really a good hobby. Seriously, skiddies, go do something else. There are way better things to do with the ability to code than create stuff like this for shit and giggles. And when you post it online on a forum, you should take for granted that somebody somewhere is going to use it maliciously. And yes, even if you just want to destroy somebody's system and not take their money, that's still malicious. In fact, that's more malicious than allowing them to decrypt their files. So anybody who's watching my channel who thinks this is cool, no, it isn't. Go find something better to do. Anyway, this is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Thank you for watching. And as always... Stay informed, stay secure.